You know, if you're working in films or television, the cameras often come in very close. And if you have to make up as a ghoul or a character, you often have to change your face or your hands very literally by building them up. In this case, with latex on a glove to make a monster hand. And in this case, with putty on my nose to make it a big sort of hooky pirate nose. But in your case, you'll probably be working on stage. And there the rules are very different. Firstly, if you wander around one of these things, it could fall off in performance. It's not terribly good. And secondly, the lighting is all above and comes down. And because of that, you often make up pretty differently. So you can dispense with this sort of thing and do it all with lighting. Bluey stuff. I'll get rid of these too, because we'll put them on later and show you how they work. And this is what I mean by lighting. The light in a stage is almost all up there. And it does funny things. And there are two principles we're going to worry about. First of all, light and dark. Those are exactly the same size. But to you, they probably look as if they were dressed and dancing about on stage. And light ones tend to look bigger than dark ones. You dress your small characters in light clothes, they look bigger. Dress your big characters in dark, they look smaller. And with the parts of your face, if you want your nose to look big, you'd colour it slightly lighter than the rest of your face. That's one trick. The second is that with the light falling down on things, you can see that in the case of this, which is grey, where there's something poking out, it gets light on the top, so it goes lighter in colour, dark underneath because it's in shadow, and the two always go together. Remember, when you put lines on, wherever there's dark shadow, there must be a highlight. And those are the two important principles, with a couple of, couple of uh, extra other sort of touching up bits. What I'm going to make up as a pirate, not with the false nose, but just with uh, lighting and makeup. And uh, remember that whatever colour you put on first will come through. If I was going to be an ancient old man, I'd use a light colour and I'd come out pale. But a pirate's been in the sun and he's going to be pretty sunburnt, so I'll start with that and rub it into all of my face, except on the parts where I might want to glue something on. And that'll be a moustache. So I've got to work this in well and truly. That looks pretty red, but the lights on stage will bleach that. Now we do some big shadows. Where they would naturally fall, if I suck in my cheek, there's going to be one there. So we'd colour that dark and rub it in. And, of course, there's a shadow under the eyebrow in there. We'll colour that in. But wherever there's dark, there has to be light. So we'll put a bit of light up there and work it in and light along the cheekbone. Wherever there's a shadow naturally falling, we colour it in but put a highlight above it and work those in till they're blended. Oh, that's coming along. But pirates don't have big blobby noses like that. They've got thin, sharp ones. So I can do what I was explaining before. Colour the sides dark to make them fall away and go from you, fall in, and make the middle white, which will bring it out towards you and suggest a thinner, more prominent nose. Work that in. And that's changed the nose a bit, I think. Now for lines. With a brush, get your dark grease paint and paint them in. Even if you have to scrunch your face up, paint them where the lines naturally are. Very narrow lines in there. And remember, for every dark line you paint in, paint a white highlight above it. Well, I'm going to be an ageing pirate and a fierce one, so I can make my eyebrows white and push them the wrong way, which will make them a lot bushier. There we are, grey eyebrows. I think I'll need a moustache too. So I'll stick that on with latex. That's the best thing, because you can always pull it off again and your moustache will stay in one piece. That's why I don't put grease paint there, otherwise it wouldn't, uh, the latex wouldn't stick to the grease paint. There we are, one ready-made moustache. And because I'm ageing, I'm going to grey my hair where it would naturally be grey. And the temples, the sideburns, that's a bit on the moustache out at the ends, which tend to go grey, and a bit in the beard, where it would normally go grey underneath. And I'll have to comb that in. Well, close up on television, that looks a little severe. But remember, it's not for television, it's for the stage. And for there, we'd powder down to get the shine off the grease paint and blend everything in. We'd be further away from you, so that uh, things wouldn't show so much. We'd have a bit of costume and a few props, and the lights would be overhead, rather than the studio lights. And I think you'd find that that would make quite a fair job of it. See you later. I'm off to find me parrot. <laughs>